Hello, welcome, and thank you for purchasing the Gold Store. Today I will be attempting to explain how to install the wraps for your Gold Store. To begin with, you should have a folder like this uh, that came when you purchased the Gold Store. Once we go into this folder, there is a file here called Wrap Files. To begin this process, we're going to need to open this up and you'll only have these two files here in your folder. What you'll need to do is you will need to highlight both of these folders and extract them as I as you can see I've already done here. Once you've done that, um, you go ahead and click on the Amped Resigner and install that program. Okay. Hit next, la la la, let it do its thing. Once it's all done, you'll be left with a prompt that looks like this, okay? But in order to sign these wraps, we're going to need two things. We're going to need the act.dat and the idps.hex. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get the act.dat. In order to do that, the simplest method that I know of is by using Multiman. So we're going to head on over to the PlayStation, but before we do that, we're going to need to do something else as well. So I'll meet you over there in just a second. Now, in order to get this file, we're going to need to sign in to uh, the PlayStation Network. Uh, in order to activate our system so that we can get this act.dat. Um, so go ahead and press your uh, triangle R2 to uh, deactivate your custom firmware and delete your syscalls before you uh, go online so you don't get banned, as I learned the hard way. Uh, and that's using the, the webman mod, obviously. So you need to have webman installed in order for that to work, but that's really not the purpose of this. Uh, tutorial so let's continue on and sign in okay uh, this is assuming that you've already set up your uh, um, your PSN account and everything okay so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in okay uh, if you get an error like this um, then you're going to need to reset your router so let me do that real quick once I reset my router, it allowed me to log in. We're gonna to need to go to account management. We're gonna to need to go down to system activation and PS3 system. Go ahead and click on game and then activate and then go ahead and back on out of here, okay? Oh, and don't forget to sign out. So that way you don't get booted off of the PSN system, as I learned the hard way. <laughs> now we're going to head on over to Multiman again. Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, this error is because I do not have Webman running, so I am going to need to restart my system. I'll be right back. Now that I've restarted my system, I should be able to enter uh, Multiman, no problem. So let me go into that. And now we're going to need to locate the act.dat. You could also do this using FileZilla, but I've noticed that uh, if you already have wraps installed, it can take forever for it to uh, load the X data folder because of the sheer volume of wraps that it has in that folder. So now we're going to navigate uh, to the PS3 root. We're gonna wanna go to the dev HDD zero. We're gonna wanna go down here to home. Um, you might have several of these folders if you have multiple accounts. I only have one, so this is gonna be easy. I go to my X data folder 
And this is the folder I was talking about. It takes a while to load because it has so many wraps in it. Now, if this is the first time you've done it, it should pop right up because you don't have any wraps. But if you've done this before, it might take a few minutes. Okay, now we're going to go and get this act.dat uh, file. We're going to hit circle. We're going to hit copy. Okay, and then we're going to back on out of there. And we're going to go to our USB card. And we're going to copy it onto our USB card. Once you've done that, you're going to uh, unplug that USB card and plug it into your uh, computer and I'll meet you back at the computer. Back at the computer, we're going to go ahead and copy our uh, file. We're going to copy it off of our USB card. Um, I've already dumped it here on my desktop, so I'm going to take this file. I'm going to drag it here where it says to place it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit this button here. This is very important to press this button and actually load the file because if you don't load it, it's not going to work. Now the next file it's asking us for is the idps.hex. Uh, this file we're going to have to make. Um, our next step, don't mind the dogs, is we're, we're going to be uh, needing that number. So I'll meet you back at the PS3. Now that we're back at the PS3, we're going to need a program, or we're going to, yeah, we're going to need to uh, download this program called PSN Patch. You can get it off the internet, from the Brewology page, or you can even download it from the Gold Store. It's right there in the homebrew section right here, okay? Here it is down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so once you got that all installed, go ahead and scroll on down here to uh, PSN Patch and open that up. I'm not showing you the top of the screen because uh, it's going to show your IDPS and your PSID. Those are uh, the numbers that uh, PlayStation uses to allow you to go online. Um, if you ever get um, uh, banned from the PSN network, you can buy these new numbers from people. Uh, Chris Bramley sells them, and you can get yourself going again. All right, but that will be a different tutorial. For now, you're going to want to take a picture of the one that says current um, or write them down, but you're going to need the IDPS and the PSID um, that is under current. Actually, you just need the IDPS. Don't worry about the PSID, but you're going to need to write down that IDPS that says current. Okay. And I will meet you back at the PlayStation. I mean, computer, sorry. Now that we're back at this uh, beautiful Amped Resigner, we are going to need to make our IDPS hex. You have that number that you just got from the PSN patch, and then you're going to need to come down here and click on the hex editor. That's going to pop up a, uh, a screen, and uh, I'm not going to show you this again because this is my personal IDPS. I don't feel like sharing it with everybody, but on the very top line, you're going to need to put in um, your IDPS, just your IDPS, um, with exactly as it was shown on um, the PSN patch. Once you've done this, uh, go ahead and go up here to um, save, and you're going to um, save that, and when you do, it's... Uh, well, this one actually saved as IDPS hex, but a lot of times it just uh, saves as a blank um, file, and you're going to need to then go into your file manager and rename it to IDPS.hex. Once you've done that, um, go ahead and uh, copy it to your desktop, as I've already done here. And then we're going to take this IDPS hex and we're going to drag it into here. Now again, very important, 
you have to hit this load IDPS uh, button next to it. If you don't do that, it will not work. So now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I press both of these buttons just to make sure that I've done that real well. And now I'm ready to go ahead and sign my wraps. So I will go ahead and press sign wraps. Now you're going to get two pop-ups here. Uh, press any key to continue on the one. And then you're going to need to open up the other one here and press any key to continue on that one as well. And now just let these things do their thing. It's going to take like an hour and a half probably for this all to run its course and do everything that it needs to do. So go make yourself some lunch, go change the oil on your car, whatever it is, but don't sit here and stare at it because it just takes way too long and you'll get frustrated. Um, also, once it gets done running this line of text, it's going to start uh, doing this thing where it says um, reading, writing, done, reading, writing, done. First time I ever did this, I thought it was a glitch or something. So and it was taking so long that I actually stopped it in the middle of what it was doing because I thought, you know, it was like glitching out or something. But no, this is this is what it's supposed to do and it's going to take quite some time. So just uh, leave it be and go do something else. Come back in about an hour and a half and then uh, I'll see you then, okay? Once the entire process is done, um, you're going, it'll just, uh, it might give you a message and tell you that it's done. It might not. Um, from there, you're going to want to come over here and click on the button that says finish packages. Now to save myself some time with this video, uh, this is still running the wraps in the background, but, um, what this will normally do is pop up two windows, uh, one with each package in it. Um, this one's still resigning right now, so they haven't popped up yet, but it'll be like this. You'll have two different, um, windows with your packages in them. In the event that it uh, does not pull up the proper window, which I have heard of it doing, then you're going to want to go to your C drive. Okay, you're going to want to go to PS3 Wraps Resigner. And here's where the packages are. You've got package one uh, in the output packages. And it'll be right in there. Mine's still running, um, but I've already done this in the past. So, uh, yeah, that's package one. And then if you want package two, then you go back and go into package two, output, packages, and package two will be right in here. Okay. Now, I've already moved my packages onto my USB drive. So, uh, that's what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your uh, your signed packages, you're going to want to move them back to your USB drive that you're going to be plugged that you use for your PS3. Uh, you can just put it right there, uh, copy and paste it right onto the root of the drive is fine. And then you're going to want to uh, plug it back into your PlayStation and um, install these packages. So I'll meet you back at the PlayStation. Now that we're back, at the PlayStation, we're going to, and we've plugged in our USB drive into uh, the PlayStation as well. We're going to want to go to Package Manager, uh, Install Package Files, go down here to Standard. Oh, hold on. Gonna wanna go to Standard and Scroll on down to your signed packages, set one and set two you should have in there, and just go ahead and install them in the normal way. Okay, this does not take very long, um, they install pretty quick. Once you've installed both packages, congratulations, you now have all of your wrap signed and you should be able to download and play anything from the Gold Store. Again, welcome to the Gold Store and thank you for your purchase. Have a wonderful day.